What is going on ladies and gentlemen, your boy Just Jay Sama is in the building today and uh, today we got a very quick short video. Uh, today are, uh, well, I guess today, tomorrow, and the day after we're gonna be coming, covering a little bit of Assassin's Creed. So today I wanted to start off a little bit slow for you guys and present three questions I have regarding Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, um, these questions are gonna be directly to Ashraf Ismail, uh, who is the, I believe he's the creative game director. Uh, so he's the game director of Assassin's Creed Origins as well as Assassin's Creed Black Flag Which is one of my personal favorites of the entire franchise So I just wanted to break down, you know, maybe a few questions and hopefully he responds to me on Twitter Maybe he doesn't uh, He and I were having a small dialogue back and forth regarding some of the weapons for Assassin's Creed Origins So I would like to pick up on that conversation So I would like to send him this video So I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible without continuing to talk So let's get into number one one. So the first thing I would like to ask Ash is are the weapon systems going to be a lot like Assassin's Creed Unity and what I mean by that is I really wanted to elaborate uh, Assassin's Creed Unity has this weird currency system where you use three different sets of currency to unlock multiple different type of weapons. Now, I have seen that there are going to be numerous stat differences between the different weapons that you use. Are there going to be multiple types of current annoying currency, microtransactions, or anything that we're going to see in this game to maybe unlock weapons faster, uh, unlock weapons a different way? Are there going to be a lot of weapons locked behind certain missions so that way you have to get so far in the story mode in order to unlock these weapons so i was hoping to continue this conversation with you on twitter but unfortunately you did not get back to me so hopefully this video reaches you i'll tweet it at you like crazy so hopefully 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 you get a chance to answer some of these second question i would like to ask is since you are this game's game director uh why in what reason what reason did you choose actually uh to divert away from a multiplayer aspect uh myself as well as a few people that i communicate with on twitter and a couple of friends of mine uh, we are all huge 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 fans of the Assassin's Creed multiplayer when it was introduced in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood And we've been playing it non-stop ever since maybe not so much in Assassin's Creed Unity because we had a whole lot of issues with you play But that's a different story for a different day. I just would like to ask are there any type of uh, time trials or competitive um, things, you know, like different different things that you can set up on different missions that you can acquire in the game and maybe you set like time travel tri time trials or you know, kill streak rewards or something like that um, and you can compete with your friends even though this game is strictly single player and to follow up on that question, uh, really the real meat and potatoes of this question is why no co-op? Uh, the co-op was something that was introduced in Assassin's Creed Unity and I thought it was an amazing concept. Uh, recently Far Cry 5 has decided to go full co-op so I'm wondering why the new Assassin's Creed game as well as uh, Watch Dogs 2 having somewhat of a co-op, Assassin's Creed kind of takes the left turn here and allows no co-op whatsoever. Just if you're able to answer that in any type of way, shape, or form. And then my third question, considering the two other questions I asked in that other question, um, my last question would have to be, uh, if there were any changes done to the modern day, what are you allowed to share with us? Because that was always a huge, 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 huge issue with somebody like me who is a huge, like, ridiculous fan of Assassin's Creed. I never really liked a lot of the modern day story stuff outside of Desmond's point of view. Uh, the stuff that was introduced in Black Flag was not exactly the funnest thing to do, but I thought it was very intriguing. It was a great way to get a lot of Easter eggs out, and it was a lot of ways to connect other games. Are we going to see any of those connections in the modern day or in the actual, you know, uh, in... Uh, by X story are we gonna see any type of you know spin-offs to where it's like oh yeah not only is there a group of assassins there's obviously Templars you know are there going to be other organizations that we see play on later on in different Ubisoft games such as Splinter Cell Rayman Watch Dogs are we gonna see any Easter eggs like that but that is it for my three questions I wanted to know 
Uh, if anybody else in the community has any other questions, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I will also leave Ash's uh, Twitter handle in the description as well as on the screen for you guys to tweet at him. Maybe tweet this video at him so that way he can actually see it. Um, Ash, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you do or anybody else at the Ubisoft staff, this has been your boy Just Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh. <laughs>